What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with Vigal or not Galaxy Opal, the Pink Diamond, Chris Stapps, or Zingis card. So, we did our full gameplay of the day on Ben Simmons, obviously a No Money Spent series episode coming out in about, probably about an hour and a half from now. But we got Chris Stapps, poor Zingis, a really, really good card here. So poor Zingis has 18 huffs. As well as that, the guy's a seven foot three center. Let's not forget that he is a seven foot three center. He's got half catch and shoot, half corner special, half difficult shots, half brick wall, half drop stepper, half put back pass, half rise up, half limitless range, range extender, circus, deep threes, circus threes. I don't care what way you want to call it. He can shoot from like half court. Also got set shooter, which is like a double catch and shoot, which is I think pick and popper, if I'm not mistaken. So he's basically got two catch and shoot badges and range extender. He's also got Sniper Goal, which is flexible in current gen. He's got Deadeye, uh, Stop and Pop, Green Machine, as well as that. He's got 31 golds, including Rim Protector, Hard Crusher, Intimidator, Post Move Lockdown. He's got Downhill as well. Guy's got Downhill. Downhill. 89 Post Fade, 89 Post Off. Pretty good. He's got not a great driving layup, but he's got a more than good enough driving and standing dunk. A 93 3 ball is insane. He's also got. Not good ball handling, but he's got 89 block. Solid-ish perimeter defense of 75. Pretty good interior defense of 82. Again, those stats don't really matter, but the fact he's got the 89 block of 7 for 3 means he's going to block a ton of shots. Really solid at rebounding. Speed 2 ball acceleration, really, really good. Again, especially for a 7 foot 3 big man. And he's got lateral quickness of 75, which is insanely good, again, for a 7 foot 3 big man. You can put clamps on him as well. So with that 80 speed, 75 lateral, he might be the best equipped player in the game to guard like the Blake Griffins of the world, the Anthony Davises of the world. I don't think he's going to be as good as Anthony Davis, but I think he might be best equipped to guard them. So let's just have a look at the price of this card right here. So I don't think he's a buyout. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so he's ending for around 150k MT. And I think that's a little more than I thought. I thought he was going to be like 90k. I really thought he was going to be a buyout, but... It appears that Ben Simmons is more likely to be a buyout than Porzingis, which I can see. I think um, Ben Simmons is a better card. So Porzingis has got hot zones everywhere outside the three. And his release, it's Brook Lopez base. You guys know me. You know on this gen. I, I hate it on current gen. You guys know on this gen, Brook Lopez might be one of my favorite bases in the game. Let's just see how he moves. Um, he's, He feels sluggish. He does. He feels sluggish. So he's not. he doesn't seem to move. Like, I thought he'd move like Dino. Like, if you've ever seen Dino, because Dino's got not as good stats as these. No, he's, he's slow as anything. Uh, no, you know what? You can kind of move a little bit with him. You just gotta, you just gotta not like, like, he moves when you don't hit the sprint button, basically. If you're trying to turn with him, let go of the sprint button. Oh, yeah, he can move a bit. He can move a bit. Whew, let's go. Post fade away. Post fades might be the least overpowered thing in this game. Like, like look at that. We were literally, we were right in the middle there. And he's got half fade ice. Like, I don't. Like, I just don't see how you can, people can make fades consistently in this game. Like, for me, it's so, I find it so, so difficult to make fades. Oh, we greened that one. Okay. Maybe it's just me. But, uh, yeah. So, he's going to be an elite pick and popper. That's what he's going to be best at. The guy's got half range extender, and if you're talking about next gen, I mean, that's a maybe a little bit too far. Like he's hitting consistently from there, like which is crazy. Like two, uh, it's back to two K seventy uh, limitless again or range extender. Let's have a look at the fade. For now, anyway, the fade is gonna be a pretty good tactic, but obviously, we know that the fade only has a matter of days left until it's patched. Okay, you can't really do much in terms of that. We don't have that long until the fade's gone, so we might as well uh, make the most of it while we can. There we go. It's not going to. Do, let's knock another fade away down. There we go. So yeah, um, we don't have that long left till the fade's passed. We might as well make the most of it. But he's just gonna be—he's gonna be a pick and popper and a really good defender. That's kind of the way he's gonna be. Obviously, going to, to the basket, he's gonna be pretty nice. Like his dunk animations, I'm pretty sure he gets some decent ones. Obviously, he's got elite length of 7-3. He's going to just be an elite level pick-and-pop shooter. He's going to be the best pick-and-pop shooter in the game, basically. 
Um, I'm really struggling with this release some, for some reason. Will I just stick shoot? You know what? If I'm struggling with the release, I might as well start stick shooting. But yeah, so that is pretty much what Porzingis is. An absolutely elite Hall of Fame range. Um, Hall of Fame range extender, best pick and pop shooter in the game. And honestly, I wish Trail Cheese was a thing this year. Because if you were like 2K, if you could 2K19 Trail Cheese with him, it would be super OP with that range. He's like, imagine Dirk Nowitzki, but a million times better. That pink diamond Dirk. That's basically what you're getting with Porzingis. So anyway, now it's green one three. And... Oh my god, can we just green one? Can we just actually green one? Maybe using the stick will help. Now let's get on to the game. So, again, it is... Porzingis' defense is going to be better than his offense. Like, in terms of like his speed and his defense, he's going to bring an awful lot to a team. On offense, he's just a pick-and-pop shooter. Like, he's not going to create. Like, it's not like he's going to be a... He's going to be anywhere near as good as, for example... Can't even remember the name of the guy. <laughs> um, he's not going to be like Kevin McHale. I mean, he's throwing LeBron. He's not going to be anywhere near, say, a Kevin McHale in terms of ability to create off the dribble. However, in terms of pure pick-and-pop ability, he's going to be insane. He's like, it's hard, like, he's closer. He's just a much, much better, like, Rudy Gobert. He's a much, much better Rudy Gobert. I think that's the best way to describe him. Um, I am, okay, this guy's got Porzingis on Porzingis. He's got Simmons as well. I'm paint sitting on Simmons. I am paint sitting on Simmons. You better prove to me you can shoot with Simmons. And he gets a wide open with LeBron. And that shot definitely did not prove to me he can shoot with LeBron. Oh, it's open. Ah, we blew it. That's my fault right there. Shoot that, please. Run him off. Good defense, Porzingis. That's good by Porzingis. Great defense, Porzingis. Let's go. Oh, green light. Let's go. Big stick shot right there. Big, big stick shot. Okay, we're good. Please, this guy needs to shoot the mid-range. Oh, I thought we had that. And it's good. Let's go. <laughs> I probably should have just used the button. I probably should have just used the button there. Because I definitely think I would agree with the button. Oh, I should have missed steal. It's a bad shot. You're gonna hit you're looking for that post hook? That's his shot. It's my fault. It's just a bad release. That's a greenable shot. That's a greenable shot. That's his range. Deny. Good defense. Good defense there. And that's a Good corner shot by him. Okay, we both hit one white anyway. Okay, is he going to leave me that wide open? Like, I'm going to take that shot every time. Oh, it's my fault. I was a good, I was a really good look. That was a really good look. It was just my fault on the release. Good defense. Really good defense there. Big board there by LeBron. Who needs more than 70 rebound if LeBron's out here doing that? Okay. He's got half fade ace. So maybe we can get open on fade away, which we can. Green, let's go. Gold dream shake, half fade ace. Maybe post fades will be the maybe post fades will be the new meta this year. Cause to be fair, if it, I think everything's been everything we found has been overpowered this in this game. Please be my it has to be me. How? I never got the ball. How is that a turnover? It's my ball. Don't give him that. Okay, thank you, 2K. You're not bailing him there. Why would you cut, you idiot? Well, that's the dumbest cut I've se I've ever seen. You were wide open. You cut. It was evident that I was throwing the pass. You cut after I threw the balls in the air. Green on the fade. Let's go. Stick fades OP. Good job, Porzingis. All right. He's got his range. He's got his range now. Limitless range. That's a... That's an... Ambitious. Ambitious play. 
as we go on green from deep. Let's go. Limitless range is a sharp takeover, basically, in my team. is one of the most ridiculously overpowered things in this game. He's not guarding that again. Green. Oh, my God. He's cash. He really is the chicken, man. He really is the chicken, man. Basically, if you ever liked, like, Rudy Gobert, or you ever really liked um, Tim Duncan, you've just got a million times better version of him in um, Porzingis. Like, he's just those guys, but he's got really good speed. He's taller. He's lengthier. He's a better shooter, better release, and has half range. Like, I just... I just don't see... I just don't see where... Uh, any negatives to using this guy. Fade for the game. Holy moly, lads. Holy moly. This card can be... is so effective. I wasn't even... Like, I was just messing around. I was just messing around, shooting limitless shots and fades, and he goes and does that. Like, that's not even the best way he is to be used. He's best used alongside a good point guard, just as, like, a catch-and-shoot, pick-and-pop shooter. And he can do that, like... If a guy that's best used a pick-and-pop shooter can um, do that, you, the card, you know you're onto something if you have the card. So anyway, that is the video. Kristaps Porzingis is so good. He is so, so good. He's like a modern-day version of that Tim Duncan card when he came out. That is what this card is like. He's not... Like, he's nothing... Like, he's nothing like Blake. He is nothing like... Um, he's nothing like Kevin McHale. He's also nothing like Anthony Davis. They are different types of players. Them guys are more, more mobile, more slashing, more kind of like guard-like centers. Whereas Porzingis, well and truly, is that pick and pop jump shooter. But man, a lot of the time at the center position, what you need is a pick and pop jump shooter. And I gotta admit, Porzingis is probably the best in the game at that. The release, especially on next gen, is the best. It's just the best. It's Brooke Lopez base on, fa on quick. Like, if you guys have been watching my No Money Spent series, my Brooke Lopez is just... My Brooke Lopez is different, man. He is just different. Like, I am greening everything with that uh, diamond Brooke Lopez. And this card is, like, a significantly better Brooke Lopez. The half-range extender... Honestly, the difference between gold, half range, and that's not the thing with Porzingis. It's just his release and his length, his player build. Just everything about this card makes him the perfect pick and pop big man in my team. And I don't see there being many better pick and pop big men for the rest of the year. I really don't. Like, obviously, we might get other versions of Chris Stapps. I think we're going to get other types of cards that can create better. Like, for example, I believe Anthony Davis is better, but I don't think it's that long until we say a Hall of Fame limitless range center or Hall of Fame range extender center. Um, that can do a little bit more than Chris Stapps can do on the floor. They can handle, up, handle it a little bit. But Porzingis, if you're just looking for your pure pick and pop player, I mean, I think we'll, we'll be looking at least a month, at least a month, six weeks until there's somebody that's even comparable at that specific thing to Chris Stapps. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.